four, three, two, one. Good morning, my friends. I'm glad to see you. How are you? Movement through an artwork can be created by the arrangement of the elements. Some artists use contrast. Some artists use the edges of shapes that come together. Some artists use lines. Let's take a look at a few artworks that show movement. Here we can see that movement is the path the viewer's eye takes through a work of art because of the arrangement of elements. You can use contrast with shapes to create movement, as Bridget Riley did here. You can use lines to create movement, as Vincent Van Gogh did here. All of these lines that Van Gogh used. And you can use the arrangement of figures to create movement. Degas painted these ballet dancers getting smaller and smaller as they go off into the background and that leads our eye into the composition. Let's take a closer look at the Van Gogh. You can see here the Van Gogh used lots and lots of lines to lead your eye. Once you start looking at the painting, your eye follows all of these swirls. Eventually, you'll move your way over to this part here and then go all the way back. Now let's take a look at one of my favorite paintings. It's actually not even a painting, it's a woodcut. A woodcut being a printmaking process, like making a stamp out of wood. This artwork is by Katsushika Hokusai and it's called The Great Wave of Kanagawa. And you see here, we've got a little bitty mountain in the back. That's the Japanese mountain, Mount Fuji. And then you have this giant wave here. And the movement of the giant wave leads our eye around to look at the mountain. What are some ways that you could use movement in your work? How could you make somebody how could you make someone look at the most important part of your painting by leading them to it? What would you use? Thanks for watching. Now go make something.